Hey, Kidman. What can I do for you, Sebastian? Beacon. My life was skidding off the track before I went into that place. Being inside Ruvik's head like that. I haven't been the same since. They tried to tell me it was all in my mind. But my mind couldn't have dreamt up the things I saw in there. You don't have to remind me. I was there too. Yeah. Your pals in Mobius didn't have any problem putting you in danger, did they? Maybe. But if I wasn't with you, we might not have made it out alive. There are times when I'm not sure I ever made it out. And now I'm in another stem. And I'm still with you. We're going to get out alive. Just like the last time. I hope you're right about that. You still up, Kidman? No rest for the wicked. What's going on? I can't believe Lily is still alive. The fire. Lily wasn't killed in the fire. You know this now. Tell that to my brain. Tell that to the nightmares I've been having for years. Why did they take her? Out of all the little girls in the world, why mine? I can't answer that, Sebastian. Mobius took Lily long before I joined them. I know you don't believe in coincidences, but maybe you see a pattern because you want to. You know that some crimes just... happen. There's no real reason for it. Just the wrong person, at the wrong place, at the wrong time. No. I refuse to believe that. Regardless, the fire is a memory that you need to purge, Sebastian. It wasn't your fault that it happened. And you didn't lose Lily because of it. Try to remember that. Thanks, Kitty. You look like you could use some help, Detective. Back again, I see. And in need of some improvements. You're getting closer to what you seek. I feel it. My daughter. She's somewhere inside this place. Yes. Then you're determined. I can sense a change in you. Let's change you further. Give you the tools you need to find her. How am I ever going to get these nails right if you keep interrupting my manicure?
You made it here okay. Not sure if okay is the right word, but yeah, I made it. Now, tell me how to get to City Hall. Union was built with a sort of backstage area, so Mobius operatives could observe the test subjects in secret. Most of these passageways are still intact enough to bypass the fissures in Union. But chunks of the city are floating in the air. How are their tunnels? They're passageways, not tunnels. When you go in and out of them, you're basically phase shifting. We call it the marrow. It exists in a layer separate from what you see. That doesn't make any sense. Fortunately for you, it doesn't have to make sense. It just has to work. But it's a maze down there. If you take the wrong path, you could end up on the other side of town. Where's this marrow that gets me to City Hall? And who comes up with these ridiculous names? I'll mark the location of the port. It's in the North Safe House. Looks like a regular computer, but it's not. I'll give you the password you need to activate it. Once you're inside, follow the marker to exit B2. That should take you straight to City Hall. You could have told me this on my communicator, you know. Maybe so, but I couldn't have given you this. The passageways are still intact, but the collapse of Union has caused infrastructure issues. My communicator says that the gas leak is blocking the path to exit B2. You'd never make it through alive without this. Deadly gas leaks, huh? <laughs> Thanks for saving the worst for last, O'Neill. Based on what we've seen so far, I doubt that it's the worst you'll encounter. You're not helping. Anything else you need to know before you go? By the way, How did you know that this signal was coming from the guy I mentioned? My communicator went crazy when you tried to call earlier. Something was interfering with it, a frequency I'd never seen before. And it was coming from the warehouse that you were just in. Right before you called, the signal disappeared. And then bam, it was at City Hall. When you said this guy was powerful and that you lost him, well, it stood to reason that he was the source of the signal. What kind of powers are we talking about here? He summoned some of those things, like he was controlling them. Then he just teleported away. Reminds me of the last time I was in STEM. But everyone in Union was tested before they were placed in STEM. Uh, there's no way they'd let a psycho in here. Well, I'm here. They didn't test me. But you're not a psychopath. Right? Why do you think he chose to camp out at City Hall? It's probably got something to do with the stable field emitter we set up there. Damn it. What's a stable field emitter? It's a machine that temporarily stabilizes an area of STEM environment if it starts to break up. It's not nearly as powerful or effective as a core, so we only use them for emergencies. It doesn't seem like it's working. Yeah. Uh, we sent Harrison and a security team to set it up when we arrived. I hope they're okay. Maybe you should come with me. If I can find Lily, we can get out of here together. No way. I'm not leaving a safe room unless it's to get out of Union entirely or someone forces me out. And who the hell is this Lily you keep mentioning? Lily is my daughter. She's the core. No wonder you're so determined to find her. I could really use your help. I'll help you from in here when I can, but I'm not going out there. She's just a little girl. I know, but appealing to my better nature isn't a good way to convince me of something. Sorry, I'm just not built that way. Yeah, I've noticed. <laughs> 